So today we're gonna to make homemade goat cheese with just a few simple ingredients. So we're gonna start with a quart of goat milk. Pasteurized is okay. Some salt, I like sea salt. You can use uh, kosher salt, any kind of salt you want. A quarter of a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice and some cheesecloth. So now what we're gonna do, we're going to put our goat milk, we're gonna put our salt to the side because that's for flavoring. We're gonna put our goat milk into our saucepan. Turn it on low. And I'm gonna let that simmer on low for about 10 minutes, just so it begins to get just a very low roll boil. Don't want a high boil on this, just a low boil. Okay, the goat milk has been gently boiling for a few minutes. I'm gonna try to get a little closer so you can see. You can see how it's just sort of gently rippling the surface. Sort of scalding the edges is what they say. You'll see just a few little bubbles around the edges. See those little bubbles? And now I'm gonna take it off the flame. I have the goat milk off the heat. I'm gonna pour in my quarter cup of lemon juice. Give it a quick stir. Just make sure it's really nicely mixed. And then I'm gonna let that sit for 10 minutes until it separates into curds and whey. Okay, our goat milk and lemon mixture has rested. I've taken a stainless steel bowl, I put my cheesecloth over it, and just sort of attached it just so it doesn't fall in as I'm pouring in the, the liquid. So now we've separated into curds and whey, and I'm going to pour away the whey, and hopefully just be left with curds. Let's keep this a little bit tight. There we go. Well, I'm not doing such a great job, but here we go. And there we go. Now, take my little clips off, pick up my corners, and now I'm left with the solids. Not a lot of solids. This is what I'm left with. So what's pouring onto the bottom here is all the way. Don't throw that away. <laughs> Uh, you got to keep that because that's great for soups, stocks, but most importantly, bread. So here we go. Squeeze this a little bit. I'm going to tighten it. And yes, it's a very small amount, but this is the nature of cheese making. You see how I'm sort of twisting the top here? Twisting. Just making it tighter and tighter. This isn't going to be the end of it. We're going to have to let this drain for a couple of hours. So I'm going to put a rubber band over it. Now I'm going to attach the rubber band. There we go. Just to uh, stir and leave it there just like that. I'm going to leave it there for a couple of hours until that's completely drained. Goat cheese has rested for a couple of hours. It's actually draining this whole time. Not a lot of extra liquid came out, but you can see some did and that's going to help with your texture of your goat cheese. So now I've already taken it out of my cheesecloth, put it into the bottom of a bowl, and now it's time to season it. 
Um, don't skip this step. If you don't put a little bit of salt in, it will not taste like goat cheese. I'm going to use roasted salt and pepper mix, just for my own flavoring, but use whatever salt you want. You can use um, garlic salt, you can use just regular salt, whatever you want. And just a little bit, you just need that to bring um, up the flavor of the actual cheese. Then, as I mentioned, you can flavor it any which way that you want. I like chive goat cheese, but I don't happen to have any chives, so I'm just going to use a little bit of, the, um, of an onion, of a green onion. So I'm just going to chop up a little bit of green onion, pretty fine. And I'm going to just go ahead and mix that on in. We have such a small quantity that I'm only going to do just a tiny little bit so it doesn't overpower the cheese. to rest for a couple of days in the fridge, or as they call, ripen. So I'm just going to push it all the way in there. And there you go. Freshly made goat cheese. 